Hey guys, it's Madame Moria. Welcome back to more Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome Amiibo. Happy Labor Day. I hope those of you who have the day off are enjoying it. And we're gonna check our mailbox, which hello, we're not supposed to get mail on Labor Day, but sure. Tammy, how have you been? You're the type who sees things through to the end, so I know you'll read my whole letter. What I mean to say is we're equals, and you know my pride. Later. Um, okay. Tammy, I, I don't really know what you're getting at with this letter, but... You know what, I'll go with it. Sure. Cool. Anyway, um, I put up a new standee right here. This is the public works that I put in yesterday, as promised. So I'm going to put a very new and very beloved design up here. I am calling Brewster's Cafe, Cafe Hope, because that's my kitty who passed away this year. I love her, I love the idea of hope, and I thought it was a cute name, and I just designed this entire sign myself, like, this is just all me, so. I really love how it turned out, I think it looks super cute, so hopefully we can get some bread, like, pink roses or something to put around this and make it look extra special. So we're going to start off with our character days. Today is all about Barbara. However, it is Labor Day, so I need to go over to the event plaza because we've got all of this nonsense set up and Isabel has a gift for us. So we're going to talk to her. She's in a cute little overall outfit for the day and she's going to give us a gift. You get this on Labor Day, you always get a gift. It's a picnic basket! Woo! So that'll look super cute in the banjo room. Um, and I will show that off momentarily. You can also have friends over and use this standee to make fun faces and look like you are just having a great time not working. So, I mean, there's not really much that goes on during Labor Day. It's just to be special, you know, like, hey, recognizing the day on Animal Crossing just because why not so um, I'll go ahead and show this off and then we'll get to talking to Barbara because I have some details to share what I'm doing is I'm kind of formatting this to share basic information about each character and then go into their well how do I say this their involvement in our town, where they stand, that kind of thing. I don't know if that makes much sense the way I'm explaining it, but just kind of their role in the town, you know. So let's put this down. Where's the picnic basket? Woo! It looks super cute. It's super dainty and fun, so. Anyway, I've thought about shifting around some of these rooms because I keep struggling with the party in the bathroom upstairs. I feel like it just needs to be a bathroom, but it's too big. And so I kind of am thinking about shifting like the banjo room upstairs and putting that where the banjo room currently is or even the sweets room. But anyway, whoa, she wants to talk to us. I went on one crazy shopping spree. What? Why? I don't want your classic table. No. I know you had that classic table in your house because you had that freaking tumbleweed on it. Hey, if you're gonna recycle it, why not just give it to us? Alright, so, Barbara, believe it or not, I didn't even know this until I literally looked it up the other day. Barbara is a snooty villager. I had no idea that she was snooty. She's never given off that impression to me, so I find it very interesting. And, oh, you're... Will I help? What? No, I don't want to get signatures for you. Oh my god, for you? Of course. I don't know why I agree to these things that I'm not going to do, but... Thank you for interrupting, Barbara. We're trying to make this about you, and you're trying to get us to go away, so... Anyway, oh, by the way, thank you guys for clarifying what I did not understand. I was so confused over the whole, is Barbara moving out or not situation, so... I guess she just didn't listen to me when I said, like, no, you should go, and was like, I think I'll stay anyway, so whatever. I guess we're stuck with her, but yeah, she is a snooty villager, so for those of you who have been around my Animal Crossing project since pretty much the beginning of time, then you know that the snooty villagers are, like, Monique and, um, you know, the ones that tend to have a lot of makeup on, Queenie's one of them. 
there are a lot of snooty villagers and they're all very like glamorous usually. But yeah, I would have, I had no idea that she was snooty. Um, if she's still here, we will celebrate her birthday. Oh, yay! Thank you, girl. Uh, we will celebrate her birthday on March 28th. I also went ahead and wrote down, just so those of you will know, and so I will know in the future, that um, if she visits the roost, her drink is a mocha. Just straight. No milk or sugar. Mocha, and that's it. Um, Barbara has also been in every single series thus far. So, every, or every single um, Animal Crossing released in the series thus far. You know what? I'm gonna run up and I'm gonna get some paper. I meant to do this before and I didn't so that we can write her a letter and send her something fun. That's kind of something I want to do is write a dumb letter every day with you pimps to the villager we're talking about. So, but yeah, she's been in every single game that has been released thus far. I have never personally seen her until this game, which I think is kind of interesting. Although I haven't had many run-ins with the sheep period. So, I mean, I, I think Woolio is the one I've seen most Oddly enough. Oh my god, the Cupid bench is in here! Oh, And Caesar's in here, of course. That country guitar, that brings up terrible memories. Okay, so let's... Crater paper? Um, okay, I'll take a set of that. I'll go ahead and take a set of... Maple leaf paper. Because we're gonna harness our inner Canadian, even though I'm... 0% Canadian, as far as I know. <laughs> so, okay, I'm. what do I want to get Barbara? I could get her the Cupid bench. It's kind of a big gift, though. She might think I like her more than I actually do. So yeah, Barbara, how would I just define her? What does she do? She doesn't do anything. I mean, she, like, worships a tumbleweed, so... What is this? A wrap shirt? No, I'm not giving her this. I think I'm gonna give her furniture because this is all crap. Um, but yeah, she she's kind of like... I feel like she hasn't really had much of an impact on anyone in the town besides Bianca. Like, they always talk about each other and how they're best friends and I could see that, which is funny because Bianca's not a snooty villager. She's what I would think... Um, I, I would have thought that... Barbara was. I would have thought that she was a peppy villager like Bianca, but she's not. So I'm like, okay. But those two tend to hit it off pretty well. Caesar, why do you have to be everywhere that I am? We're gonna get her the Cupid bench, because I need to buy more from here anyway. I keep not buying things, which is not doing me any favors, because it's just delaying us getting the final upgrade to the store. Or us even getting, like, the whole Gracie Grace thing to happen. Like, that... That's something that needs to happen, but you have to unlock it at a point, and I just have not done that yet. Because I am easily distracted in this game. Let's just put it that way. Okay, I don't know why I'm going in here either. I guess I've been checking for, like, regal stuff to have my house, like, the regal theme every day. It doesn't pop up too often, though, so... All right, anyway, let's go ahead and write this letter. We're gonna stand right outside the post office as we write it. I'm gonna give her the maple leaf paper, I guess, to Barbara. Um, you are snooty. I'm gonna write her a poem. You're, oh no, that doesn't rhyme, hold on. Uh, how about I like your booty? You said, <laughs> this is so stupid, you said you'd move out, that's what I'm gonna write, you said you'd move out, um, Oh no! How do I end this? Hold on. You, uh, you are snooty. I like your booty. You said you'd move out. You, I, wish, 
This is so dumb, so mean. I wish you would. How about this? Dun dun dun. No! Stop it. And then symbol. There we go. Pout. There we go. Perfect. L listen. Just listen to this, guys. Big Barbara. You are snooty. I like your booty. You said you'd move out. I wish you would, pout. Okay, that's perfect. So good. I'm just such an amazing writer. Why do I have so many letters in my pocket right now? Alright, let's mail it. Let's take this baby up to get mailed. Then we'll go talk to her a couple more times. I think we just saw inside her house, what, the last episode? A couple episodes ago? Not that long ago, so that's good. All right, I'm sending to a person in Big Pimp. You guys have probably noticed this too. I started editing out the bottom screen a lot more in like the past week's episodes. And the reason I've been doing this is, well, number one, you guys all, you guys know this by now. Like so many of the things we've seen so many times, they're exactly the same. Like you see when I'm putting something away or which people say like, are you sure? And I have to say yes. Like pretty much whenever I nod or shake my head, that's always, that's been edited out for a long time, the bottom screen has. But anytime we open the menu, like I've been trying to edit it out because it seems like that is always the thumbnail. And I'm like, I am so sick of this thumbnail. Is he wearing, I love Frago in his pinky shirt. I mean, he's been in that pinky shirt forever. It just still makes me so happy because I know he, had that MVP shirt on. Okay, so she's still down here. Barbara! So I love the punny nature of all of the characters' names as well, that she's like Barbara, and that it's actually spelled Ba, and like a barber, because she has a lot of fur. So, okay, um, let's talk. If you want to keep your skin looking young, you've got to avoid UV rays. Well, guess what? There's no freaking... There's nothing in this game that will protect us. Okay, what's new? Have I seen Groucho's house? Ooh! Why have you seen Groucho's house? Someone's being naughty. Alright, well, um... One more time. What's up? There's a rumor going around that... I'm a stump maker! No way! Why are you spreading this? Oh, you've certainly been called worse. Oh no, Barbara. Alright, well I guess that's gonna do it for today's episode. That's pretty much all I have to say about Barbara. And um, yeah, I'm really excited for our new sign. We're gonna continue to talk about all the villagers throughout the week. I hope you guys are enjoying this format. I know it's a little bit more formal than what I've done in the past, but I think it's, there's just a lot more to say in this game. So yeah, we're gonna go from here. So happy Labor Day. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow for more Big Pimp. Peace out guys.